All right, I'm going to show people how to use Magpie to change the sharpness with AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Magpie is a uh, upscaling application that will upscale any window on your computer with various scaling modes. I would recommend the newest edition they've made, FSR, which again, AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Now, people were complaining that it was much too sharp with Magpie, so I wanted to show people how to solve that issue. Now, if you go to the options, you don't see anything here, so you wouldn't know how to actually update this. Now, if you open up the zoom options, you can scroll down and scroll to FSR. Uh, this right here is exclusive to my version. I've made a fork of Magpie on my GitHub. Anybody can download it. Mine's an English translation. But if you downloaded the default Magpie, this is what you're going to see. It's going to look like this. You're basically just going to be adding these lines of code. Now, if you want to know what these lines of code do, if you go to the Magpie wiki, it talks about which effects you can modify. Now, this line right here selects the module that we're looking for, which we're looking at the Fidelity FX module, and then we're going to look at the effects that it has. The first effect, CAS, or Contrast Adaptive Sharpening, we will select it, and then the parameter underneath that effect, it only has one, just sharpness. By default, it's 0.4. I'm just going to reduce that one a little bit. It's not really that big on its own. The second one, we're going to be also under the FX module, but it'll be Fidelity FX Super Resolution for the effect. The parameter is sharpness, and the sharpness by default is 0.8. I'm going to reduce it to 0.3. Once we've added that to the code, we will control S to save, and then we can click the Alt plus F11 or whatever the hotkey is, and it upscaled it perfectly fine. It did not crash. And if it does not crash, that's good. If it does crash, you probably missed a bracket close, bracket open, or the comma here, or he's typoed it wrong. I will upload uh, my scalemodels.json uh, to this if anybody wants to just download it directly. Uh, I've also, you know, if you just download it from me, it'll already have these right here, so you just have to change these two numbers. You don't have to add any of the lines of code yourself. Uh, Blinu is actually going to be adding an English translation. His next release will have it. His source code already has English translations in there. So, like, I'm not really going to be needed in the future, but my scale models.json is also on the GitHub, and I'll also put it in the YouTube video. That's all. It's pretty simple. Just Editing this number and this number. This one is the most important because this is the one that's over sharpened quite a bit. But thanks for watching.